everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life and we are talking air fryers. So this is gonna be a review video of the Ninja Foodie Dual compartment air fryer. And if you are somebody who's new to this channel, you can just skip forward to the actual review. But if you are a Sammy Sweet Lifer, you will know that I already had an air fryer. So I'm kind of gonna explain my little story time of why I ended up with a second air fryer. So first off, I love air fryers. I've been air frying now for a few years, but my old one just broke. And so I needed to replace it. And it wasn't because like the air fryer itself went bad, it was a user error. So we had one of the Cook's Essentials air fryers and it's one of the like the egg shaped ones with a basket and it had two baskets that clipped together. It had a little inner shell where the food went and then an outer shell that like caught the grease or, or oil that dripped down. And we dropped the basket part a few times and we have wood look tile floors. So they are really, really strong, basically like cement floors and the basket just did not survive. Part of the handlebar broke one time we dropped it, then it got a dent and then the basket like tilted weirdly and it would not clip together very well. So I used it a couple more times after its last recent drop and the basket was so wobbly. I was afraid I was going to burn myself or hurt somebody because the basket barely looked like it was staying together when I was like pulling it in and out. And it was really hard to like push it in all the way because it was kind of wobbly. So for just the sake of like safety and worry, I ended up replacing it and getting a major upgrade. You know, I paid Black Friday prices for this old QVC one and it was way under a hundred dollars where the one I got now is like one of the top of the line, fancy brand name ones. And I did this big upgrade. So I'm super happy with the one I got. I'll talk about it all in this video and show you guys the actual air fryer. But I wanted to mention this because I'm gonna have two air fryer reviews on this channel. And it's the first one for the one that would probably work perfectly fine had we not been dumb and just dropped it a few times. It's just ugh, like the third impact, you know, over the course of time totally ruined it and it was a safety issue, not so much like the thing stopped functioning. I feel like if we hadn't dropped the basket, we probably had plenty more years left in it. I definitely don't think this video saying the other one broke is a critique of the other one. I think it was a perfectly good thing. It was just user accident error and I ended up upgrading. And so the reason I ended up upgrading was because I love my air fryer. It's withstood the test of time that we do use this thing at least like once a week, probably more like a couple times a week. And I ended up just wanting to upgrade, get uh, the best of the best type variety. And I feel like I got that. I feel like it's the huge, huge improvement to my other one. My other one was a single basket. This one has two baskets and these ones are a little bit different. Whereas the other one had like an inner and outer basket. These ones have little liners to catch grease underneath. And that makes it a little bit trickier when I'm used to being able to unclip and just like dump things out. With these ones, I can pull the handle out, but I can't just dump things out because the grease is underneath. And I accidentally forgot one of the times and did end up like pouring chicken grease onto a plate or chicken fat, whatever came off of it. And it was a big mess and an oopsie. So definitely you have to use like tongs to take things out of these baskets. So it's a little bit different if you're used to like the big bucket kind, but I love it. It's so functional. My other one had presets on it. So I'm actually having to like learn the times and temperatures of things. It comes with a little booklet. So I just look through the booklet to find whatever it is. But the other one had like a button for chicken sections, a button for bacon, for French fries, things like that. So I just had to press the button and then hit start and kind of just keep my eye on it. And I have to actually input times and it's two baskets. So you can do some really cool features with it. You can have the baskets cook at different Times. You set each basket by pressing number one or number two and then pressing whatever features and times and temperatures you want for each basket. So you set number one, you press number two, set number two, and then you have an option to just start and they will cook and one will finish at a different time. Or you have a different option, which is really cool that you will be able to press the button and they will end up cooking and finishing at the same time, which is really cool. So I've used that a couple of times where it won't start cooking the second thing that's gonna cook quicker it just stays in the little basket and it will start it whenever it needs to, to make them end at the same time. So I really, really like that. It makes it really like foolproof. You just have to shake the baskets around here and there to make sure air is flowing and everything's getting cooked evenly. The other cool feature is if you're cooking like two of the same thing or two things that are gonna have the same times and temperatures, you set the basket number one to whatever you want and then you hit the button match cook and it will 
do all the same stuff for the second basket and you just pop them both in and hit start and they both cook the same. So I really like that feature too. We've had, I think we were cooking um, those deep fried Oreos in both baskets. So I could just press all the buttons to do the one set and it cooked for both when I hit match cook. So that was really nice. I have been using it a ton. I've been trying it out for various recipes and things. Basically anything I would cook in the old air fryer, I've cooked in the new air fryer and it's plenty of room. I've been able to do all the deep fried Oreos using the two baskets now. It ends up being about the same amount of space as my old one. So it ends up just being two baskets instead of one. So I really like this one also. The baskets are small. They fit right in our dishwasher. So I really, really like that. So I've talked about a lot of like the reasons why I like it and things about it that make it really cool. Let's go ahead and hop to the kitchen and I'll show you the air fryer itself and I'll walk through the features with you. So first I wanted to show you, I just stored in the pantry down here. You see like we're addicted to all little sparkling waters um, but it's just in the pantry down on the floor I will end up putting it in a cabinet bottom at some point but Stella plays in some of the cabinets she's a toddler so I just keep it in here so it's behind the door and she can still play in the cabinets but that's what it looks like so we're gonna pull it out and I'll show you all the features by the way it does have little like handles underneath yeah you can see like there's a little handlebar right there so you can hold it on either side and pick it up easily it's not very heavy and it does have that little handlebar feature which is nice so they assume you're gonna move it around. And now I did not wipe this down last time because I knew I was gonna be doing this review. And I wanted you guys to see the air, the steam and whatever is released from around the whole side. You have to keep it a little bit away from your walls because that's where you're gonna get that heat building up. Um, and it does end up like splattering a little bit. I hope you guys can see. Yeah, I think you can pick up some of that. Like it does splatter a little bit of oil and stuff just maybe water droplets. I do have to wipe the entire thing down because of that. That's the one feature that I'm not a huge fan of. My last one just had the little exhaust venti part in the back. So you did have to keep it away from the wall again, but this one has it all the way around. I don't know why they did that because then this whole thing gets, you know, gets a little bit gross. So I definitely would recommend just wiping the whole thing down after every use because that part is I think my only complaint about this one. But here is a look at the front. It does have these stickers on it. I'm sure I could take them off, but I haven't yet because I haven't <laughs> mastered the times or anything. Smart finish is that button I was telling you about where it will pause one of them until it's time to cook them and then they finish at the same time, which is really cool. Now this one is not just an air fryer. You can air broil, which browns things a little bit faster. The typical air fryer, which is convection. It can also roast, reheat dehydrate and bake. So you have all these different like little heat features that you can choose from. You toggle up and down for temperature, toggle up and down for time, and you pick what basket you're using, one or two, and then um, everything shows up on the screen, which I'll walk through and mess with. And then there is the match cook. If you just want to set basket number one, do all your buttons and then hit match cook, both baskets will cook at the same time. And so it gives you like some basics here for things you can cook. It also comes with a little cooking guide so you can see, like for instance, it's got Brussels sprouts here, one ounce in each bucket, cut in half, stem removed, tells you how to prep, and then you can toss it in some oil. It recommends the temperature, and then it depends on if you're using just a single basket or two baskets. They call it single zone and dual zone, and it'll give you the time and temperatures for each. It seems like it takes a longer amount of time when there's two baskets in, but I have not noticed it being that different. I've tried this for a couple of different things. I think I did the broccoli and it did not take 15 minutes. Like it said, it took really close to like the upper end of this side of the number. So definitely keep an eye on things. It tells you to, you know, shake or toss foods in between just in case. So I always just keep an eye on it anyway, because they do have a tendency just air fryers in general, have a tendency to cook things really fast. So you just have to keep an eye on it because it will go from being almost done to burnt if you're not super careful and you take your eyes off of it. So opening up the basket, I'll show you guys. It is made of metal and then it does have this insert. So you don't always have to put this little insert in, but that's the way you can keep all the grease and trappings and drippings and things down at the bottom. And it does have like little rubber gaskets on the edge so it does stay in place but the grease and stuff does not you can see if you tip over the basket and the basket's full of grease you can pour it on your plate like i did <laughs> but the actual you know metal piece stays in place so you can take those out depending on what you're cooking 
but it's good for air circulation for a lot of the air fried things. And both baskets just look the exact same. You can see like there's a curve on the side so you can tell which basket is which when you're putting it in. It was not hard to tell, but they also have numbers on them too. One and two, so you can keep an eye on it that way. And so I'll go ahead and start it and show you. It does not beep ridiculously loud. My one complaint with the Instant Pot is the beep is so stinking loud and there's no way to change it, but this one's not so loud. This, this one's just like a normal sounding beep. So we're automatically on number one. You have to hit whatever you want before you can change the temperatures or the times. So you have to select one of these guys. You just hit air fry. It starts you on 390, but you can go up to 400 and then air broil goes up to 450. So if we're going back to air fryer, we can go down and then you can select what time you want. These are in minutes here and then go to basket number two. So your basket number one is set. Number two, you walk through the same thing. Pick whatever you want, pick whatever temperature and time you want. And if you're doing the smart finish, this basket will start in five minutes because this one's 25 minutes and then you just have to hit start. That one will say hold because it's not started yet. But the one thing I found with my other air fryer is when you take it out, the heating stops but this one does not. So if I'm like taking it out, shaking it, it's still counting down, nothing's paused, nothing's on hold. So it still counts your time. And then we'll go ahead and turn it off. And I'll show you the match cook here too. So we're gonna pretend we're cooking something, we'll roast something here and set the temperature, set the time to whatever and hit match cook. And then it just lights up the other side with the same exact information and you hit start. And then they're exactly the same time and temperature. <laughs> and that's really all there is to it. It's <laughs> super easy to use. It takes a minute to know your times and temperatures, but other than that, it's super easy, super easy to clean. I really like the whole basket. Our old basket had all the slots and stuff on this inner liner basket and it was a really annoying thing to have to clean. It did not really fit in our dishwasher that well either. So these ones are easy to clean because they're just, you know, solid sides. So we'd hand washed them a bunch. We also just stuck them in the dishwasher a bunch and they're really nice. My only complaint, like I said, is the, the splattering on the front. I really wish that was not a thing and like this part did not have the exhaust. But other than that, it's a great, great machine. I would totally recommend it. And so far I've just loved using it over and over again. So that's really it. I really, really like this. I just ordered it on Amazon. So I'll link to it down below for you guys if you wanna check it out. I just love it. I love having an air fryer. I went like, I don't know, a week or two between air fryers. By the time I finally ordered the other one, I was definitely really itching to have an air fryer again. It's just one of those kitchen tools that I use pretty much all the time. Really, really urge anybody to get one. It doesn't heat up the whole house like trying to use the oven. It cooks things super quickly. I've seen lots of recipes that you can bake in air fryers and the only baking thing I've done are those deep fried Oreos, but I definitely recommend trying it out, getting one for yourself. They're just such great kitchen gadgets. So I hope you guys liked this video. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching, bye.